Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up a Google Home Mini. So the first thing that we wanna do is plug it into the wall with the power adapter that comes with your Google Home Mini. So this side we'll be plugging in to the back of our Google Home, and then of course the other end we're gonna be plugging in to an outlet. Come to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So after we plug in, it'll take a little bit of time for it to initiate, but at this point, what we're gonna do is head on over to our smartphone and head into the Google Home app to finish the setup process. So now I'm over on my phone. If you guys don't already have Google Home app downloaded and installed, we can do this from the Google Play Store by opening that up. And then in the search bar at the top, we're gonna type in Google Home and select that search option. And here we see the Google Home application, so we're gonna install it. Once it's installed, you can open it from here or we can head back over to our home screen. And if you can't find the Google Home app on one of your home pages, we can also scroll up from the bottom of our device. That's going to open up all of our apps and we can see the Home app is right here. If we want to drag and drop this onto our home screen, we just hold our finger on the icon of the app and then drop it where we want it located on our home screen. So now at this point, we're going to launch the Google Home app. And some of you have potentially already set up the Google Home app in the past, so you don't have to worry about these steps, but just doing a comprehensive guide here going through all the different steps. So it says, welcome home, your content and devices are all gonna be in one place. So we're gonna click on get started. And then you wanna choose the account that you wanna set up your Google devices on. So for me, it's gonna be the Google account that I've already set up on my phone. Otherwise you can use another account by clicking on that option. But once you have your account selected, we're gonna click on okay. And again, for those of you who have already set up the Google Home app, you're not gonna to need to do this, but if this is your first time, you're gonna create a home. So we're gonna click this little plus icon where it says create home. Give a nickname for your home and then click next. And then you have the option if you want to put in your home address. And essentially what this will do is give you better information in terms of traffic, weather, things such as that when you ask your Google Home for information. So you can enter that information in here and then click next. Otherwise, if you don't want to do this, you can click skip and you can always come back to this later if you'd like to enter in that information at some other point in time. So after going through the initial setup process with the Google Home app, at this point to add the Google Home Mini to our account, what we want to do is go here towards the bottom and click on where it says devices. And then we want to click on where it says add device. And we're going to be adding a new device. So clicking that option here. And I'm going to be adding it to my home of Google devices. So selecting that and then clicking next. If you don't already have location access set up, you can do so here. It needs location access to detect nearby Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signal. So we're going to click next. And then, and then allow this while using the app. So now it's looking for devices in my general vicinity. And it found my plugged in Google Home Mini. So this is what I'd like to set up. So I'm going to click on yes. And after a little bit of time, it says that it is connected and it asks if I heard a sound. Yes, I heard my Google Home Mini play a sound, so I'm gonna click yes. And then you can check over the additional terms if you'd like to do so. And after doing that, we can click agree at the bottom. And if you'd like to automatically share device stats and crash reports with Google to improve everyone's experience, you can say, yes, I'm in. Otherwise you can say, no, thanks. Select where this device is located. For me, it is in the living room. So I'm gonna select that right here and then click next. And we're going to connect up with Wi-Fi. So for me, my Wi-Fi router's name is Asus 22. So that is selected. And then I'm going to click next. And then you're going to enter in your Wi-Fi router password. And then after doing that, again, clicking next. And now it's going through the connection process, setting up that connection with my Wi-Fi router. And after a little bit of time, it says it is connected. And here's some additional information here about using Google Home Mini, if you'd like to look that over. And then we can click next. And you can set up a voice match on this device so your assistant will recognize your voice on all eligible devices in this home, including devices that you add later. So if you'd like to set up voice match, you can do so by clicking continue. Otherwise, you can click not now. Another option here is you can have it save audio to improve the voice recognition technology. Otherwise, you can click not now. And once we get to the end of this setup process, it says your assistant is ready. You can always make changes through the settings in your home app or assistant app. So we can click next. And if you'd like to go through some additional setup steps, setting up things such as music or setting up call features, you can do so. Otherwise, you can always come back and set this stuff up later by clicking not now. Some optional things, you can add a payment method, you can change your caller ID. But again, you can always come back and set these up at some other point in time. And now it says that my Google Home Mini speaker is ready. So you're going to go through some additional options here. If you want to get more familiarized with the device, it says let's explore what you can do. So you can continue on with this by selecting that. And finally, after going through the setup process, it'll take us back to the homepage of the Google Home app, and we can see our devices in the devices area. And I can now see that my Google Home Mini is right here, that living room speaker. If I click on it, it gives me some additional options with the volume. It allows you to cast the audio. There's some different setting options up here. 
But at this point, you're set up and ready to go. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up a Google Home Mini. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.